Hello, we're here today with Phil Jasper, president of Mission Systems Collins Aerospace. Hi, Phil. Hello. How, how does it feel to be here at Farnborough? Anything exciting? Yeah, it's you know it's always great to be here at Farnborough. It's a it's a great opportunity for us not only to meet customers but to showcase all the great capabilities that we provide within Collins, but also across Raytheon Technologies and. And I think it's just an example of the impact that we have in terms of our global customer base. Absolutely. So speaking of the wonderful technologies that you have, we're standing here in front of the uh, Tactical Combat Training System 2. Yes. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about it, please? Yeah, uh, TCTS2 uh, is really the next generation of combat training system. As the battle space gets more and more complex and more connected, and, and our customers are looking for how do they operate in all domain conditions, not just within the services within the United States, but with their international and coalition partners. It's important that they train as they fight. And so for us, what that meant is we needed to change the entire training system for our customers. And we had to do things like implement open systems architectures such that it's not just dealing with the systems and aircraft they have today, but how can it grow and adapt and be flexible and include all of our coalition partners as well. Okay, so you said you had to change a few things. Is this where the 2 comes in? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, TCTS2 is really, it's the next generation of training system and it's replacing some legacy ACMI training systems in the United States. Now as threats evolve or as new weapons are created, those can be incorporated into the capabilities of TCTS2 and you can do real-time dynamic training that just simply isn't available today. I see, and so what are we looking at exactly? What are we simulating here? Yeah, so it's not just simulation, but it's also stimulation. And so it's the ability to have actual aircraft flying against these instrumented range systems mm -hmm. that allow the pilots to get real-time feedback on the effectiveness of, of how well they're performing in lifelike combat situations. And now, obviously, there's not enough aircraft for us to fly all those missions in a live environment, and frankly, it'd be very expensive to do that. And that's where TCTS comes in. It allows that integration of live assets with virtual or simulated assets, as well as synthetic threats or opportunities that are injected into the live aircraft. And it gives that operational uh, element or that pilot the complete immersion into that environment. And to them, they think it's real and it's very adaptable. So as they're flying their missions or as they're going through a training curriculum, if we become aware of a new weapon system or a new threat that's out there, we can inject that into the system almost real time that then will allow them to train against that very new piece of information. And that's simply not capable today. Yeah, I can definitely see the added value of doing the virtual training versus the live training in terms of everything, time and logistics and all of that that you just were mentioning. So, I mean, there's plenty going on in Farnborough and you have plenty to show at Raytheon Technology. So why show this here today at this show? Yeah, this, this is a really important uh, opportunity, I think, not just for Raytheon or Collins, but frankly for our global customer base. It won't be the United States alone. It, and it won't be Europe alone or the UK alone. It'll be all of us operating together. And TCTS2 enables that. It enables the integration of fourth and fifth gen aircraft into this. New weapon systems as they're being developed. Last year we announced that uh, uh, we had our first international customer in Draken for this capability. And uh, uh, we are also working with MBDA to incorporate some of their weapon simulations into our uh, live simulation capability as well. So very important for us to have a, a global footprint uh, as we see that the battle space of the future is really requiring that we train like we fight, and that means we have to train with global partners. All right. Well, that's great. Thank you very much, Phil, for your time. It's been a pleasure talking to you, and uh, have a great rest of the show. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time as well, and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Yeah.